know, came out and, you know, played today. Uh, these are the kind of games that you really want to maintain your intensity, kind of keep trying to improve, trying to get better. Um, I thought we had a pretty good week of practice, and I thought it carried over in the game in terms of our ability to execute and do the things that we need to do. And I'd say about 98% of the time we had, you know, the right intensity. One drive there on defense where they scored a touchdown or made a couple of mistakes and uh, made a couple other mistakes that, you know, led to big plays on their part. But for the most part, you know, I was really pleased with Jalen played really, really well in the game, starting out like 10 for 10 or something. And, uh, we made some explosive plays which were designed and practiced all week based on how they play and what they do. So it's always good to see when you practice something and then you go out and execute it in the game and it works out exactly like you planned. And uh, some of those things did. Players did a good job of executing. And, you know, uh, Burton had a good day today with some big plays. And uh, we got to play a lot of players, which I think is something that, um, you know, a lot of these guys, man, they work hard all year long. They don't get a lot of positive self gratification. Some of them don't even get to dress for games. We dressed everybody who was healthy today, I think 134 guys, and got to play a, a, a ton of guys. And um, always happy to be able to do that. So uh, it's good for their development, it's good for their experience, and um, obviously uh, they can learn and grow from that as well. But just having the opportunity to play in a game at Bryant Denny Stadium has got to be a great experience for some of these guys. And, we certainly appreciate the work that they do all year to help the other players get ready to play. So for them to play today was really um, special to me. Start with Charlie. Yeah, hey coach, we, uh, we saw Caleb Downs come in on punt returns. Just what kind of progress has he made there and what was the decision? Um, you know, we got confidence in him. We got confidence in IB. I got confidence in Cooley. Um, you know, but, you know, we, we just, you know, he should have returned the first one. Uh, Fair caught it, and then he shouldn't even have fielded the second one and fumbled it. So, you know, sometimes, you know, when you're in that position, um, you know, confidence is really, really important, and we got to get his confidence back. And Caleb's got confidence, so obviously did a great job on the, the middle return that we ran today, made somebody miss and hit it up to shoot. The guy did a good job of, you know, fitting and finishing on their blocks, and I uh, only had to beat the punter. And, did a good job of that. Nick? Yeah, last game today for a little record here, Brian Denny. When you look back on his career, I mean, what, what are you remembered as and just what stands out to you? Fantastic. And I don't know that anybody's had a more productive career relative to what their role is, what their job is, what they're supposed to do in terms of his consistency, his performance, the way he's improved, you know, through the years, mindsets, leadership, how he affects the other specialists on our team and how he's helped them grow and develop. So, you know, Will's been a great asset to the organization for a long time and done his job about as well as anybody could expect somebody to do it. Uh, Nick Alvarez? Yeah, Chris Braswell went out earlier with the targeting. Was that a tough play, thing bang, or was a coaching point on that one for him? Well, you know, we keep telling guys you got to keep your eyes up, you got to see what you hit. And you don't want to hit anybody with your head down. I thought, you know, his, his head was up, but you can't hit the quarterback in the head either. So, um, you know, we just keep working on it. Um, we had one of those last week where we hit the quarterback in the head, and obviously the target of the day. So it's something that we need to focus on. But I think, you know, when players see these things happen, I think it's a good learning opportunity for everybody that plays on defense. Last one, Scott. Nick, I know you got fond of comparisons, but. I'm curious as to how you view this team and its growth and improvement during a season when you think about other teams you've had here. Well, you know, it's always the goal that your team grows and develops. And uh, obviously, I think, you know, this team started, you know, sort of not like we wanted. Uh, and, um, you know, but I think a lot of guys have made a huge difference in the development of this team. You know, Jalen's growth and development, confidence, uh, ability to execute, take what the defense did is, has, you know, sort of transformed our offense into, you know, being something that's um, very productive. Uh, I think it's increased the confidence of everybody else that plays around them. Uh, the offensive line has made significant improvement. Uh, defensively, you know, we've had guys in and out, key guys. Um, you know, 
Dante Lawson is kind of a leader of the front seven. Um, you know, keys to safety, makes a lot of calls on the secondary. Uh, I think there's a lot of things that we can continue to grow and develop and improve on defense where we communicate better and do things better. So um, I, don't, I don't make comparisons to other teams. You know, we've had some other teams that started out great, didn't finish strong. Uh, and I think, um, you know, we got a two-game season left here. Uh, and I think we need to focus on how we finish and how we continue to improve and how we continue to have the right mindset to be able to execute um, regardless of the circumstances or regardless of who we're playing and where we're playing. And that's what our focus is going to be this week. Tony? Coach, we didn't see Kobe Prentice today. And also, uh, Keith Robinson, it seemed like he left a little bit with an injury at the end. Do you hear about the he, tomato? He, he was fine. He just had a stinger. Um, Kobe Prentice strained his hamstring in practice this week. He probably could have played in the game. But, um, you know, you always risk re injury in those things. So, hopefully, in the next few days, he'll get his strength back up to where that's not a risk. And, um, so that's why he didn't play today. A front row mic. So what you see of Ty Simpson in this game, and also what was your perspective on the uh, the ball coming out early at the end zone? I mean, do I have to comment on that? I mean, every coach says cross the goal line and hand the ball to the official. So, but again, that's a learning experience for everybody too. And um, you know, but. I mean, Caleb Downs wasn't carrying the ball right on his touchdown. He's carrying it in one hand, swinging it around. All right, so um, that's going to be a learning experience for him. So, but I thought Ty played, you know, well today. Um, and the opportunity that he's had the last two weeks to play has certainly probably improved his confidence. And, um, you know, it's good that he gets some experience. So if he needs to play, he's going to be able to go in there and execute. Two more, Matt and Nick Hayden. What do you think of how Justice Haynes played at running back today? Justice is a really good player. I uh, probably hadn't got as many opportunities as we'd like for him to because of the depth of that position. But um, I, I was very pleased with the way he played. Made an outstanding run for a touchdown at the end of the game. Um, but you know, 19 did a heck of a job blocking for him downfield so that he could score a touchdown. But um, Justice has done a really good job all year long. We have lots of confidence in him. Let's finish with Kate. You already hit on Bull Riker, but this senior class as a whole, just what have they meant to this program coming in during COVID, winning championships, and then kind of being the leaders of this season's team? Yeah, these seniors have done a great job of um, representing the program, first of all, representing the university on and off the field. Um, really good group of fine young men that I am very proud of the way they've developed personally, academically, the success that they've had, you know, in school and developing a career off the field and what they've contributed to the team. Um, you know, some of these guys have been fantastic leaders, set a great example. And one thing that's been really, really good um, over the years for us, and, and these guys did a fantastic job of that as well, is the older guys embracing the younger guys that come to the program. You know, in some places that doesn't happen, but it always happens here. It's very helpful to the development of our young players. We always have a lot of young players who contribute um, because our team turns over faster, guys went out to the draft and all that kind of stuff. So these guys have done a phenomenal job of embracing the young players on our team and helping them grow and develop and done a fantastic job of representing our program. Thank you. All right, thank you.